Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, my name is Phil. I'm a boy just the I'm a boy who enjoys playing with makeup. And finally, I've returned back to my channel. Yes, I took a break over January. Um, I had some things happening behind the scenes that I needed to step back and focus on. So for this video, for this Valentine's Day look, I didn't want to do a traditional red pink look. I wanted to do something that was fun, outside the box, pastel, bright. Um, a look where if Awesome Phil were to go on a date, this is what he would wear to it. And no, unfortunately, I don't have Valentine's Day, but I can still put on a look. So yeah, I really like this look. We got the little, we got the little Valentine's Day detail right here. And so yeah, if you wish to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's get started with today's video. Happy New Year's. Uh, hopefully everyone had a great New Year's. Hope you had a great holiday. Do you, any of you guys have any New Year's resolutions? If you do, leave it down in the comments down below what yours are. Um, one of mine was to not spend money on makeup and use up what I have so far, or at least for like the first portion of the year. After going super strong in January and only five days into February, I failed hardcore. Um, no, it's not just KKW and Ulta that's in these bags, it's everything else. <laughs> everything else. <laughs> Okay, so what happened was I was driving past an Ulta. I saw these two girls. They had a, they had the James Charles palette, and I blacked out and ran into the store and bought it. So there's that. And then I also bought the ColourPop concealer, and that was it from Ulta. Then I also picked up the CoverGirl foundation, and then in the KW bag. So for Christmas, I got the Jeffree Star Thirsty Palette, and then at the actual KKW store, I got the Highlighter Palette, and I also got one of the new Heart um, Perfumes. It's somewhere. I don't know where it's at. And then I got the, and then my friend gave me this, the Mario Babiscus Skincare Spray. I'm gonna try that out. Most of those purchases were just in February. Oh, and then I also got the Jeffree Star brushes today. In January, I was doing really good. I bought, this is the only thing that I bought. Um, I bought it with, it was on sale, and also I used my Ulta points on it, so it was relatively cheaper. So yeah, I bought all this, and I'll be using it uh, throughout the next few videos, giving you my feedback, my thoughts on all of them. Um, so yeah. Okay, so for this look today, I don't know, I'm, I'm inspired by this t-shirt, keeping it real, with a unicorn. Um, so yeah, so let's see what tones are on here. There's like yellows, there's, you know what? For this look, I'm gonna do Thirsty. Let's open her up. Obviously I already opened it, because you know, it's gonna wait. But I haven't used it yet. So to keep this video short, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my foundation, my base off camera, and then I'll do the eyes, because that's really what this video is all about. So I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we're back. So I got my base on right now. Um, I don't really know how I feel about it. I feel, um, I use a concealer. I think it might be too light for me. All right, now we're gonna start off with the eyes. I'm gonna go with the Jeffree Cosmetic Thirsty Palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Submerge, which is this blue one right here. Just take it all over this brush. And then we're gonna submerge my whole entire lid with this shade. Alrighty, there we go. We have submerged all over the lid. Let me just do some last minute packing just to get that shade opaque as much as possible. Alright, next I'm gonna go into the shade Splash and just coat that with a kind of like a tapered blending brush. Take the shade and I kind of want to put it into the crease and blow it out. So, does anybody have any Valentine's Day plans? It's just right around the corner. Um, I don't. <laughs> So doing a uh, Valentine's makeup tutorial for me is kind of like, uh, but I mean, whatever. It's all fun and games. That's kind of why I didn't want to do a traditional Valentine's look. I just wanted to do something that was like, if Awesome Phil were to go on a date, what makeup would he do? And he would not do the, the traditional red pink. Let's take this brush right here, just dab a little into it, and then we're gonna blow this out. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, so for our purple, I'm gonna dip into the blood sugar palette. I'm gonna go in with the shade Root Canal. Let's see, what brush do I want to use for that? That's gonna be a mission of its own. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Root Canal from the blood sugar palette. I'm just going to dip lightly into it. And then I think I'm just gonna lay it into the outer V and see where I wanna go with that. So yeah, I don't really have any Valentine's Day implants. If you have one, leave a comment down below what it is. Or if you don't, what would be your dream date? Uh, for me, I don't know. The more I get older, the more, I used to think like movies, wham, wham, wham. Um, but as I get older, I don't know, I'm just more of a, just getting to know someone, just something one-on-one, -on -one. well, obviously one-on-one. -on -one. Something simple, simplistic. Now I'm gonna take a little bit and I kinda wanna brush it into the crease just a little bit. I'm gonna take the blending brush that I used with the shade Splash. Next we're gonna dip into the Androgyny palette and we're gonna go in with the shade Swallow and take that shade underneath. Bring it back into blood sugar. I'm gonna take a little bit of the root canal on the same brush and just blend those two shades together. Then I'm gonna go back into Thirsty. I'm gonna go in with the shade Submerge and I'm gonna connect all of this. Next, we're gonna go in with Stealthy Rich, which is this glitter shade right here. Okay, and then we're just going to put it in the inner corner. Alrighty, and I think we're done with this eye. Um, I'm going to do the other one off camera, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, and we are back. Um, I did my lashes off camera, liner, all that jazz. All the products I used, we linked it down below. Um, but I did go with the Morphe Lashes in Style So Charming. These are honestly one of my favorite ones, but these in particular, I think they're ready to go. Like, I feel like I tried washing them. I don't think it worked. I think this lash right here was a little wonky. All right, so now let's get into blush, highlight, and all that jazz. I'm gonna go in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Ice Skin Frost. I'm gonna go in with the shade Lavender Snow and highlight my face. And then I'm gonna make a little bit of pink chill in there. Add a little pink for Valentine's Day. All right, then next I'm gonna go in with this very old MAC Holiday highlighter and blush combo. I'm gonna take the blush, just that, all the apples of our cheeks. All right, next to give that Valentine's Day uh, touch, I'm gonna go in with Prick and the um, Blood Sugar Palette. I'm gonna do a heart right here. Then I'm gonna jump back into the Platinum Ice Palette. I'm gonna go back into Super Chill. All right, now to finish off look, we're gonna go in with lips. I'm gonna go in with the shade Virginity. I did go in with another purple one, but I changed my mind. So that's why it looks a little stained. So hopefully this covers it up. All right, last but certainly not least, we're going with the Urban K Setting Spray and we're gonna set the face. All right, and this completes the look. Alrighty, and we're back. Okay, so, alrighty, and this is the final look right here. Um, I liked how this came out. I used the CoverGirl foundation as well as the ColourPop concealer for the first time ever. Um, not gonna lie, at first I was a little shook, a little not loving the combo, but I just got done taking photos and reviewed some of the footage and I liked the way it looked on camera. My major concern was that the center was too bright, so maybe I, I thought that maybe it got too bright of a shade, but I think it's all right. 
I think with the blush and bronzer it really and the eye color it really brought everything together. I used this for the first time. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I don't even know if it made that much of a difference. Uh, I will report later. Oh, hello, the Thirsty palette. I used this for the first time. Uh, I only went in with the shade um, Submerged and Splash, and then I used the shade uh, Filthy Rich. Um, these little middle shades, uh, I went in with this kind of a brush right here. Uh, it was a little hard. It didn't make it didn't make the it didn't make this little flaky because I guess this is like pigments or whatever. I don't know. Um, maybe going in with your finger or a brush that's not quite as stiff-ish as this one. So yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, show it some love by clicking that like button down below. If you enjoyed me, then show me some love by subscribing to my channel, sharing this video and me with all your friends and family. And be sure to click that bell notification to be alert exactly when I upload. And if you wish to follow me outside of YouTube, my social media will link it down below. So yeah. Happy Valentine's Day, and hopefully you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day. If not, it's alright, there's always next year. <laughs> so yeah, so click the videos that are floating around, maybe we'll enjoy some of those. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and have an awesome day. Speaking of Valentine's Day, where's my little Valentine? Just kidding, I won't be alone on Valentine's Day. I'll have my Valentine's with me right here. <laughs>